Hello, friends. Hello, lovers. It's Alien, and we're back with more Have a Nice Death. Let's get it started. So let's pick out a few contracts here, maybe for something fun. Why don't we try the speedy type runs here? So complete World 2 in under 15 minutes. We'll get 50 solar ahead of time. If I lose, I take 20 damage. It's not a great prize, but we'll take it. Kill 100 enemies in under 15 minutes, and I'll get... 50 health, but right now I get negative 20 max health. Ah, well. Sounds like it's part of the condition here. Defeat the second Thanager in under 10 minutes. Okay. So, okay, that makes sense. Get 20 max health right now, so that evens out. So the big problem by taking all these is that I got a little bit of Solary, and that's it right now. I don't have a, a, a cloak or a spell. I ain't got nothing. You know, we got our scythe, and that's all, baby. Let's see. So we're going to have to play fast. And we have to kill enemies still, too. So the question is, what do I like better? Dis scythe or sickles here? I won't take the ridge. We just did the ridge, right? Uh, I'm just very quick. I'm trying to remember which one I like more. I don't remember, honestly. I kind of These are the two I kind of mix up together. Yo, Patrick, you okay, buddy? I'm on, a, I'm on a timer here, though, bud. I usually play pretty quickly already admittedly at least i feel like i do so but it'll be kind of interesting to kind of put this on on ourselves right see how we do i don't know like is there someone here that doesn't know my vague speed run background maybe that's a good story for this it's very vague maybe there's people that don't that don't know <laughs> How much Hades I played, especially back in the day. Who are watching right now. But we gotta stay focused here. Infuse Burn. Ooh. I mean, that sounds like a good general one to take for now. Probably. D deals damage over time as an effect when attacking. Duration is three seconds. Damage is five. As an effect when attacking. So kind of like bleed, I think. Spell sling sets off explosions around you. That one actually sounds all right, too, but we just don't know if we're going to be going the spell way. But yeah, I have done some speedruns. Mostly Hades. That's how I started this first game I speedran. Practically the last game I speedran. Uh, the only game I have any time on a leaderboard for, I think. Unless there were some meme games from way back when. I think there actually might be. I'm not positive, though. Uh, but yeah, I just like, I just liked the game so much during early access. Like, I gotta find ways to play the game more. Always had been interested in speedrun, so just watched a couple other people and saw how they did it and tried my best and just played the game a ton and yeah, went from there basically. Pretty simple. We took our, we, get, we got our hand dipped in the water for a couple of, a couple of other games. That really hit me, huh? Uh, Stray was a popular one. We only did it for like a week or so. I don't even remember our best time. It's been too long, but it, it was fun. That was a pretty fun game to speedrun. We did Cult of the Lamb for a few days. We tried, rather. Uh, that one was less fun, honestly. Because <laughs> it's just farming combat with like no actual power. And so it wasn't a lot of fun because of that. It wasn't like a situation where you get like really overpowered and you just plow through everything. It was more like you're really underpowered and you you're at death's door at every instant and it's just i don't know it was just a slog you don't actually get to play that play that much around in the town too unfortunately okay so we got ourselves a bow here that i can't seem to shoot off i think it's the fire bow i'm not positive though that might be what it's called it's a bit slow. There's a there's like two bows, I think. Whoa. Come here. Uh okay, I suddenly have three goldens. I guess that's how it be. We haven't completed any of the contracts yet. I mean, it's really just the enemy one that we'd accidentally complete ahead of time, I guess. Yeah, speedrunning is fun. I mean, when it gets like, uh, when you're trying to do it very competitively, it's definitely stressful. And you can only hold on to times for so long unless you're just willing to grind out what end up usually being the negative portions about the game, which is kind of hard to describe, you know? But 
it kind of boils down to the hardest or most frustrating or least user-friendly things are the things that usually end up saving you time after enough people are competing. Uh, Revelation Bow, that's what it is. Lose a deadly arrow in a straight line ahead of you. 40, 210, charges 3. Okay. But a dear friend of mine, high five from Ryan, has actually speedrun Have a Nice Death a lot. So if you're interested in actual speedruns of this game, definitely recommend checking him out. He's probably got lots of runs in the leaderboard. Probably has a world record right now. I'm not certain, though. Uh, nothing. Do, 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 do. Okay, speed that up. William, be kind. I try to use the bow super here. Let's just use the scythe one. Oh, the scythe one kind of stinks for this. Oh, I couldn't tell it was doing a move. Oh! William! It's kind of close, actually, huh? Well, luckily I don't... I'm not being incentivized to no-hit anything. We're at three minutes. I almost, uh... Picked those two up. No! No! Ah! I tried to... One, I wanted to use one of the blue before they both went in there. Okay, so we do currently have a cloak. Wait, that is a cloak, right? It is a cloak, okay. Oh yeah, because it has a cooldown, duh. Okay, come on, we don't we can't waste time here. Uh hmm. Maybe we'll try to go down the blue tree a bit more. That's not great. Is it not great? It's not great. Maybe we'll try to get something a bit more general. That's not great either. Each time you get a piece of equipment, basically. Well, it's not that simple, I guess. You get a pure heal for ten. It's pretty weak. Rush gains a 25% cooldown. I guess we'll go for it. The cost of the first upgrade to the cloak increases by 50% at the control room. Baba boom explosions deal damage. Okay, I think I can deal with that. That's only if we actually went to the toxic food place anyway. Da -da 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 -um -bum. But have y'all sp speedrun anything? Have you considered speedrunning anything even? Ooh, Wish Torm. Which one's Wish Torm? I mix it up with some other ones. Randomly but regularly strike down your enemies in a flash of lightning bolts. Is this the one that I like? It's already level one and it's not that expensive. Let's buy a curse. Spell Sling sets off explosions around you. I don't know about that one. That seems like a bit much. What if we went kind of bigger on the shop? I don't know. You need a lot of money. That's kind of hard. Even the Spell Sling. You know what? And so because of that, we're going to take Wish Torm. Can't remember if Wish Torm is one that I want. I guess I don't... Oh, I don't have any Prismium. That's right. Duh. I'm so used to just having Prismium. Huh. This could be interesting to say the least. Health is fine, though, at least. It's not super bad, is it? It's not. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Is that the one I like? I don't know, but it, it looked all right to me. So it just targets the enemy? Is this... I've probably used this spell in other videos not that long ago, but... <laughs> Time is escaping me. Alright. This might be one of those ridiculous spells, to be honest. That just targets the closest enemy, no matter how far they are. And you get kills off screen, and the game kind of plays itself. I'm not 100% this is that spell. But there are those spells in this. Cease fire. One and a half seconds. Your next spell sling will launch crows. It's kind of guaranteed right now, but it's still not great. Arena's drop plus five solary. Yeah, it's just not amazing. Although I haven't done a lot with the cease fire. I haven't done anything with cease fire junk. But am I that confident that I can make the cease fire stuff work? I'm not. <laughs> I am most certainly not. 
But we'll try our best. Okay, I guess we're still not done with the contracts. One was to beat the Thanager. Second Thanager in under 10. We're at 405. Slurry, each slurry you collect can potentially heal you for five minutes. That doesn't seem necessary. Let's gamble. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Nothing! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Hmm, got some solary after that. Okay. Let's deposit one golden. We'll buy a blue one back. I'm not gonna gamble that one, though, I don't think. So, we want green now. So, we're going spells. We're going with spells. Yeah, that bow doesn't really cut it, I think. Uh, that definitely was enough. And seeing Wishstorm in the shop there, it's hard to turn down. I guess, given uh, we don't really have much else to go on yet. Hmm. So that uses up all our MP. How much MP does it cost, exactly? 50? Okay. That's not that crazy. I know we have 50 right now is the only unfortunate thing. Okay, don't get hit. Go ahead and use that, I don't know. Oh, okay, that is not do what I expected. Okay, well, we managed to not get hit there, I think. Yeah, because we still have the bag from a moment ago. All right, looking good. There's an enemy up here. Just take him out real quick. Pew, pew, pew. Hope you like that noise. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get more curses. Yeah, 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 yeah. The solar redeposit is actually a little, a little interesting there. Um, we're not going to have any Prismium, most likely, but getting to 175 would allow us to upgrade Wishtorm twice. Maybe it was even the right decision to go for it. I'm not sure. We're still killing, like, all the enemies. We have that contract to kill them in under a certain amount of time, so... Okay, I'm surprised the ultimate's up, actually. Hmm. Uh, it's a pure heal that we don't even need. Okay. Retaliate de spells deal plus 100% bonus damage for 8 seconds. I feel like it's rare they actually tell you exactly for how long. That's not bad. Refinement, regen 10 mana. Applies an effect... When a scythe or a cloak weapon strikes an enemy. Oh, wait, that's amazing. So when I hit something with the scythe, I'll get 10 mana, which allows me to instantly cast the spell again. So I can attack spell, attack spell, attack spell. Price of your next shop purchase will increase by 15%. Heartbreakers are more dangerous. How dangerous could they be, though, you know? How dangerous could they be? Okay. Cloak store? No, we'll go Vita Mana. Plus 10 more mana would actually be kind of a big deal because it allows me to cast a spell twice. It might have some kind of cooldown on it. Probably it does. They mostly do now. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. Yeah, it looks like it's a couple seconds. Which isn't crazy. But it's not spammable also. Okay... Get that mana buff for now. Plus some mana. Now we're cruising. Now things are picking up. Now we're going, baby. Got some max health there as well. No time to waste. We have to kill the second Thanager. Well, I guess technically we, we don't have to do this one. We could do the other, uh, the one in the next biome. Whether or not we'd get there in time is very questionable, though. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that guy turned around. They have a tendency to do that. There we go. Plus 50 max health. Finally. There's a secret door right there. Oh, come on. Let me down. Uh, I only had one blue, but hopefully it's worth it. Worth it. All right. Beautiful. 
We're still on a tight timer. There's something I have to do within 10 minutes. Oh, it's the Thanator, I think. Which we're about to do. No need for that yet. It's Slima. I'm just gonna keep my distance, honestly. Does that just go... Oh, it goes right above wherever the enemy is at the time of... Oh, I thought I jumped. I did not jump, though, it turns out. Woo! Got him. There's another contract. Dunzo. I think that one probably just prevented me from losing something. Two blues. Yeah, you just take them. You have one golden. Periodic launches crows. That's not the same as ceasefire. Burn deals plus five bonus damage worth it i'm kind of being weird here to be honest with the curse i'm kind of being a little weird with the curses i kind of just want to try some new stuff if if they show up so i'm pro i'm definitely not taking the things that i would normally be taking which would be rolling for just spell damage and man maybe some mana regen max mana things of that nature really The fact that this just homes in on whatever enemy is closest and has such a far range is pretty wild, honestly. And it'll change to a new target after killing one, even. Okay, more max mana. Beautiful. Ultimate is up. Nothing over there, right? Nope. The ceasefire kind of goes up really quickly here, too. That was a really short room. Wasn't it? That was, like, weirdly short, I think. Hey, we have enough money for uh, a double wish storm upgrade here, too. We do want to work on the scythe. Or life. Oh, wait. No, I can't because it's already level one. All it does is reduce the mana cost? Oh. That's pretty weak, honestly. <laughs> I guess I'm still going to do it just because we probably want to get it to level 3. Increase the number of lightning bolts even more. Yeah, I guess so. 100% uh, chance applies premium. It goes from 100% to 100%. Excuse me? Hmm. Well, we'll do it. I think we still do it. All right, Grimy. I think the third contract was to beat this, the second world in under 15 minutes. It's talking about the in-game timer. Which is only at 8.08 right now. So we should be gooch. Alright, Gordy. Do 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 do. Good time to cast that probably. While they're just like right there. Hanging out. Really? You're gonna cast that? Oh, it hit the wall. No, it didn't. I don't know. I thought it became immune. Okay, just don't get hit by things. Dash through that last one. Dash away. Dunzo. Not the fastest kill or anything like that, but a kill is a kill. We're not like the most powerful at the moment. Hello, contract? Am I crazy? Animas and golden animas grant you a heal of 15% additional HP. Oh, look at that. It actually tells you way more information about this now. Prestigious anima that grants a pure heal. Okay, well, it doesn't tell you what the hell the golden one does. So the blue anima at a base heals for 15. And you can increase it at 30%. So that's a 100% increase on the blue animas. So that feels really good, no doubt. Hmm. Retaliate temporarily gain regeneration. Hmm. He restores HP over time. We need spell stuff at the end of the day. Termination grants 0.5% mana regen. No. Reduces damage below 10 to 1. <sighs> I don't love it. I still don't love it. But we have to work our way up the green tree. I think I take it, though. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Price of a curse increases so much. And veterans heal themselves when they counter attack. Are we doing natural disaster now? Are we already there? I don't think we're there yet, right? That was only the second world, I think. 
do 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 the contract. Okay, complete world two in under fifteen. So when does that click in? Plus three animas. We'll, we, we'll probably take that. Got some money. We take three now. We get three goldens. So we deposit two, get that, keep one golden, and we're good. And now we go to the addictions apartment. Apartment department. The department. Wait, what other games did I speedrun? I know I'm all over the place. Oh, wait, silly me. Hollow Knight. There's that contract finally. I don't think we actually got anything out of it. I'm not positive though. So technically we don't have to go fast anymore, but we'll probably, I mean, I tend to just try to play fast anyway, so. We'll keep it up for now. Hollow Knight, again, not on a leaderboard or anything. I don't really remember what my PB was. That was in like 2021, I'm pretty sure that we did it. Just kind of learned the any percent, no major glitches, current patch category. I know that's a mouthful, but it was a lot of fun, actually. It was a lot of fun. Not every game you speedrun or plan to speedrun needs to be uh you know you're going for the world record or competing at about against this or against that sometimes it's just for your own personal involvement with the community and to just kind of learn more about the game and enjoy the game more in different ways and just learn all the cool little factors that go behind it right at the same time though there's nothing wrong with going for trying to achieve a world record in a game also so both are fine i think some people uh would pop in and they'd get confused like wait so how long has you been doing this how close is he the world record it's like all right calm down <laughs> none of that's happening right now definitely not uh celeste was the other big one god celeste was hard it's so hard but it's so much fun love that game so much I can gush about those two games all day long, I tell you. And Celeste is just pure input madness. Like, Hollow Knight has lots of slow periods, honestly. Where you're kind of chillaxing, just walking in a direction. Uh, nothing too crazy. Celeste is just absolute brutality. With, uh... <laughs> the, the const... You're just barrage... <laughs> You really just you might as well just roll your face on the controller with how, everything that you're supposed to be doing. Just a beginning to learn what you're supposed to do to try to play that game fast is just out of control. It's just so much. Thank God for uh, some of the people out there that helped make some tutorials and guides for us. Shout out to Programmatic for helping me through that a little bit. All right. Where are we? Ah. Okay. No. My god. The shield guys are tough. I wonder how well the burn's really doing for us. Whoop. I'll be over here. I mean, it's working. It's definitely working. We got a reroll there. That's nice. We still kind of got to kill every single enemy. We need every soul that we can. Can't really spare leaving some behind. We're not crazy strong or anything right now. Is that a piece of advice for this game? Maybe it's a piece of advice for the game. We kind of want to kill everything. Bloop. The starting the what what are some other pieces of advice for this game? Uh, usually the the thing the equipment that you wind up getting early on uh, really determines how hard or easy the run's gonna be for you. We got Wish Term offered at the shop, so luckily we knew that Wish Term's good. But honestly, if you're new to the game, you're, you're just not gonna know that. You're just gonna say, "Oh, a spell." All right, mm, who knows? Maybe it stinks. You just don't know. But since we we were aware of it. We were able to snag it and utilize it. 
Okay. Do I want to use the ultimate? Does it matter that much? Actually, I should probably not be using the Wish Torm ultimate. Is the truth. Okay. I was hoping to get some weird ceasefire stuff going on, because there's a bunch of curses in regards to ceasefire that I just have never used. I don't know. Maybe they can get out of control. They keep buffing them. <laughs> the effect ceasefire gains negative 35% cooldown. Ceasefire, two seconds. Your next attack launches a sickle. Gain 50% max mana. That's actually not even that good for us in this instance, I would say. But this is just goofy. So what do we have? We have like ceasefire launches crows on spell sling or something like that, I think. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing it. We're trying. We're trying over here. We are trying, so I guess we're going to be looking for other ceasefire things. Best that we can. There's still, like, I really need some spell damage. Right now the spell hits like a wet paper towel, but it, luckily it's so strong it's not the worst thing yet. But it's going to quickly become the worst thing. We don't pump that bad boy up, you know what I mean? Okay, mos- oh, not the mosquito. Dang, the mosquito's much easier. Is that even for this zone? I don't know. This guy's a real piece of work, let me tell you. The ultimate is not up. Okay, looks like it's stunned, so a good time to use the ultimate there. Aya! Come on, get trapped. Okay. My dude. My dude. Uh oh. Holy cow, how do you do that? Ah, I tried the dash at the last moment. Die, my man, die! Ah. That was pretty tough. That, uh, that was rough. That did not feel good. Guess we use a blue right now. Just one, though. Holy god. Burn deals incandescence. The enemy launches projectiles that injure its allies. Deals damage over time spreads. Burn deals plus 10 bonus damage. Oh, wow. I've never seen this one. They're both rank 4. That one sounds really good, too. Deals incandescence. Enemy launches projectiles that injure its allies. I've never seen that. So I guess we'll take it. So it's kind of... We're getting more burns related, I guess. Ah... Uh... I think we actually do the cloak store to pick up something to sell. Do I? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't think I actually do that. I thought about doing that. I guess we take the rolls. The rolls. Do do. Oh, wait. You, you kind of saw the effect there, I think. So the burn. Yeah, there. it's like. Uh, just flames flying out of the enemy. Okay, so while they're burned, they periodically just do that so they can hurt each other, potentially. Okay, that's actually quite cool. I hope I get that other burn one offered soon. This could, can be like a true blue tree build, in a sense, huh? Could be. I don't know if I'd put it there yet, but... Okay... Just cast and wish torm as I go. I'm sure it's gonna like hit something, you know what I mean? Back down. You can hear it working its magic. Weird dead end. This this like particular, I don't know what you call it, tile set, right? Always felt a little odd to me. It's probably just meant to kind of confuse you, make you get lost. I'm glad they don't do it too much, but yeah. This one definitely took a little bit to get used to. Uh, interesting. I wonder the ultimate targeted one particular enemy there. Does it like pick the strongest enemy in the room or something? I don't know. It might. 
Kind of tar targeted the jack in the box or whatever it is. We have quite a bit of max health, don't we? We might need to save that Prismium. Hmm. So we can't max out Wish Storm here. I'm worried. I, I kind of want to play safe with the Prismium. I'm tired of gambling with them, you know, just praying that I get one more to see life. So I think we'll just kind of go this way. Ba -da -da -bum -bum. We can sell the bow here. Okay. Murray of Crows. No, thank you. Let's do this before I get greedy or something here, right? Let's buy that curse, shall we? Infuse 5% chance of gaining one solary. Discount, no. Uh, it's okay. Right? It's okay. These are all quite weak. We have a lot of rolls here. Deal plus 10 damage per anima in your possession. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I only got two right now, so each Witch Storm now deals plus 20 damage. I think they were dealing 15 before, so it should be at least 35. I think we made the right choice there. That's like over 100% damage increase on Witch Storm itself. So it's pretty saucy, I'd say. All right, here we go, buddy. This boss, it shouldn't be too bad given our spell situation. Depending on what you have, this boss is just like really annoying because it it jumps up in the air like so. And then you can't hit it very easily, to say the least. It doesn't really do anything when it's in the center. It's either going to go in the air or it... It's going to be off in a corner of the room. So if it's neither of those two things, then it's not going to be attacking you. Which might be a good piece of advice there for you. So you don't have to like be at, be on edge if uh, it's just sitting there in the center. Okay. That looked much better than the previous boss, I feel. Spells gain plus 10% damage upon casting. Maximum is 5 sacks. Ooh. Spell steal plus 50% damage. But rush gains a 50% cooldown. So this goes up to 50%. Maximum 5 stacks. What's an alteration again? Applies a bonus or penalty for a set time. Oh, so like this is probably an alteration, for instance, right? On the right side. That's not necessary. Uh, so I guess we take, I think, I think this one, because it's, it's like the same thing without really a downside. You get the bonus upon casting. It's gotta be the better one. It's gotta be. I gotta keep in mind that ceasefire bonus that we took. Other, I'd hate for it to go to waste. It's possible it just will. Natch, you know, but I'd hate for it. I want to refill the fridge. Let's gamble. Woo, money. You know what? You convinced me. Anything good here? Turkey. Healing over time? No, we don't want that. We'll save that for the next zone. I guess we do the blue, right? Because we're not really doing red curses. Natural disasters. Uh, have I been here since the update? I don't know. Maybe. Because this, this zone is, is definitely harder than modern warfare, generally, I think. I don't know if they must have changed the balancing because beforehand this zone was always after modern warfare you always had to do both of them right now you just get you have to pick one of the two to do so assumedly they rebalanced it i'm sure they did but it's always kind of a question of how, uh, how good of a job you know don't want to make it too hard on ourselves here do 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 I hate those diving bombers. I would, there's something, I know it's minor, but there's something cool about the fact that the camera homes in when you win the arena, but you still have movement. Like you can still, uh, you can still move around during the like kind of pseudo cutscene. I know it's small. It's a small thing, but there's something like kind of fun about that. 
Okay, there's a blue anima up there now. Yoink. Doo doo doo. Okay, crack that all open. Boom. Vitamana, thank you very much. That'll do. We really want to max out Wish Torm. So we're looking for... We, we really just need a uh, Prismium to get that going on. It costs 250 to max out, and you really hate to waste that much solar rays in a place like uh, in that way when you could be spending it at a place like a shop really for much more useful items well it's just it's just inefficient i guess is the the main thing ah did i get hit i somehow did not i somehow did not get hit there either it's honestly a miracle poison mist nah it's pretty terrible do 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 still gaining insights apparently thought i saw something up here am i crazy i might be crazy dude's losing his marbles boo do 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 Okay. Boom. Got some max health at the end. Lovely. Ah, we really don't need mana for this. Not with that refinement. And the spell costs 40. Yeah. And the spell has a pretty long cooldown. Yeah. We just really don't need mana. Whoa. Do do. Do do. Wow, buddy. Where'd they go? Come on, bock them. Let's see. Animas looking fine. These guys get big. Might just die before that. Don't want to spend my animas willy nilly. Yeah, we are dealing 45 per wish storm right now. Of all the enemies that hit me in this zone, we got hit by the weirdest one. <laughs> the poor guy who's getting blown away by the wind, apparently. Is he even attacking us on purpose or is he just trying his best? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we def def definitely got to do the Thanager. We need curses pretty badly, actually, still. We're prob- I'm going to be on. I'm going to be up front. I'm going to be up front right now. You ready for this? They call me up front, Dan. They don't call me that. Our chances against life, the boss, are slim. Slim, to say the least. We have no scythe upgrades. Bonk, bonk. Ah! My dude! Dang you, horse. Hmm, let's use a blue. Uh, pick these up. I'll use one golden, I think. Remember the ceasefire crap. Cloak Swish summons lightning. No, that's not helpful. Okie dokie. So we get advanced blue curses here. This does not seem very helpful, though. We still kind of just want spell stuff. Yeah. Um. What do you think? Go Our dash cooldown. Look at that. Oh, man, that math is beautiful. Can I just tell you? The dash cools down goes from 0.49 to 0.66. 
Is it me or is that not 50%? Uh, um, whereas this is like more than 35%. Okay, I don't know how they're reaching these numbers, but it's all skewed toward us, I guess. <laughs> Ah, uh, sure. Give me the spell damage, I guess. Control room is closed. Well, can't really do that. Well, I can, but I don't want to do that. Instead, the shop's going to have to get more expensive, I'm afraid. Let's see. I got 357. At this rate, this is our second to last control room, if it even is. Uh... Yeah, I guess we just do it. I hate the inefficiency, let me tell you, though. Let me tell you about that. I don't like it. But we have to do it. All right. Wish charm, get upgraded. More lightning bolts. I can't afford to spend more on this scythe, unfortunately. Right now, hazardous floor. That's a weird one. It's especially weird to be forced into it. Kind of forget what these are about. Like, what do you get out of these? Is it just random? It sounds like these lightning bolts... Wow, it's actually quite a bit more. Seems like it was worth it. They also fire more quickly. It sounds, at least, right? The sound effect is definitely giving me that. Run away... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Seems like the last room in this zone is always this layout. Where you gotta find both barriers here. No arenas, huh? We're actually still down in Anima, too. It'd be nice to pick one up for the boss. We shall see, though. Oh, there's an arena. Spoke too soon. Okay, very good. Yoink. Anyone? Thank you. Do 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 do. All right, blue. Do 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 do. Imamura. Imamura. Where's the pun for this one, I wonder? A lot of them are based off some kind of pun. God, I hate this boss, kind of. <laughs> They're just so hard. They tend to always do the same move at the start. Okay, they did not do the same move. It's felt right there. Dang, they still hot got me there, though. What? What? Let's just stay back, cast the spell as soon as we can, kind of. Oh, God. All right. Cast it on someone, would you? Dunzo. All right. The nice thing about a bit like this, I just smash B, but concentrate on the watching the boss's moves and try to avoid it. Not that I did a great job doing that, <laughs> but... It's what I can do. Ooh, woo. Spells deal 10 bonus damage. Spells temporarily gain 25% mana regen. We don't need mana regen. Yeah, it just doesn't do much. But even more damage sounds pretty saucy to me. I don't see any ceasefire stuff. No more burn stuff yet. So we're going to be going this way for now. Ooh, my God. What are you, what are you doing, game? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I guess we're taking shaky legs. That's definitely not good for us. That's definitely not good for us. They really had to do us like that, didn't they? <laughs> Lose one HP every 10 seconds. Are they out of their minds? <laughs> uh, each slurry you collect can heal you. Well, it doesn't really matter now. Might as well take it. I guess I'll just buy one here. Just to 
add to the stack of damage basically now okay red curse is now upgraded for this zone not that that'll matter really and i don't think we made good uses of the blue curse upgrade honestly there's something about this first little area this first room here right in this whole department it's just kind of like ominous and stuff it almost makes me think there's more to it than what we see like i kind of forgot someone told me this prismium is guaranteed and it kind of looks like it is in which case we could have spent that prismium you know 30 minutes ago in the run on something else yeah should probably remember that next time let me uh next time you know let's see no equipment i guess we take the rolls yeah yeah i don't think we do equipment there let's see which room's max we could try to transform the site if we can get to another control room okay so having zero mana won't stop us from dashing even though they're supposed to cost money now secret room all right so now we got another golden on our hands keep an eye on that okay 108 per hit wow 112 sometimes even ah the dash the the dash thing is definitely messing us up a little bit it's definitely causing a problem we got an anti-penalty i could have used that a minute ago <laughs> to prevent that penalty you know um that's gonna be the last shop i think we do it whether or not we spend a prismium on it is kind of weird, though. Uh, it's kind of a good question. <sighs> yeah, we definitely do this. I think that's a definite. We can sell them poison mist here, too, right? Goodbye. Void rift. Earn 10% bonus damage when you gain at least one ingot. Huh. What does that mean exactly i don't know i don't know if i really use that spell burn lasts five seconds longer and eh. that's actually not great unfortunately termination unleashes a wave of flames and unleashes a wave of blood no thanks roll the last green no adds an effect when attacking temporarily gain plus 15 max mana. so now we need mana because because of the stupid <laughs> what happened what did we get we need mana because uh the rush mana cost now so do i do this or do i try to wait for a control room so we have enough to upgrade the scythe the scythe's damage and transform it once if we hold that's probably worth more if you want to have a chance at life right that's what i'm thinking here hopefully we actually get control room boom I guess we could have we could have looked at this, huh? And potentially changed our mind. I've never really considered doing that. Okay, what's the transformation do on that anyway? Bonk. Uh, let me see. Deals twenty five percent bonus damage to nearby enemies. Uh so if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Oh, so we won't. We just won't buy it. Instead, we'll uh, we'll do the final upgrade here, right? Because this is an AoE, it sounds, right? Which is useless on the last three enemies we fight in this game. So we might as well upgrade the actual scythe damage. Termination summons a wave of scythes that surges up from the ground. Also not great, but now we deal 1% with each hit, and the yeah, base attack is higher, etc., etc. That's the way to go. Uh, I guess the mana department... It's the last room, so only one that'll do anything really. 
para pa pam. I don't know why we we really don't need to now we truly don't need to kill any more enemies, right? But what was that? I don't even want to know. Oh, we're fighting. I don't know if I've ever noticed a room where we're fighting. Ah. Keep spending all my mana on dashing here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how good Death Priest is. <laughs> my mana just never gets up high enough, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess we're going down. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Okay. Now we're looking okay. You know, I gave you the rundown earlier about our chances with life. I think the chances have gotten a lot better now. Possibly even good. Possibly even good. We'll see, though. A couple of boss A's to fight in the meantime. How many animals we got? We got all three. Beautiful. I can't, you kind of got to get some casts off here. You got to turn this in. Get the final doodad, right? I got all three, right? Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's done. If ideally, you'd sit here and cast and build up five stacks here, right? I don't know if I'm actually going to do all of that. Why is my mana regen like? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, God. Come on. All right. Hurry up and start the fight. Oh, God. Okay. Not that fast. I'm over here. You're over there. Okay. Oh, geez. From downtown on me? My God. You only got hit a few times. That's all it takes, though, unfortunately. Yikes, that's scary, though. So we got to use one golden, kind of. No! <sighs> Game. Why? We're out of greens. These kind of all stink, especially this one. It stinks the most. That's terrible. And that's useless. All right, that's okay. I guess that's okay. Hmm, yikes. That got me nervous after that. I feel like that mini boss is harder than time itself a lot of times, though. We'll see. Don't let me down. He usually does the same move at the start each time. Hope that didn't hit me. Okay, that did. I think I gotta use an anima there. Means I'm down to one. That's really bad. I I'm stuck. Uh oh. No, no, it's I healed. Stop doing that move. Am I froze? I'm froze. They got me. <laughs> Didn't even get to see life. I felt extra fragile for some reason that run. I don't know what it was. Maybe I truly just wasn't killing them fast enough at the end of the day. Yeah, that's too bad. That should have been much easier, but... Man, they were just hitting me with every single thing. Got frozen left and right, left and right. I even used the ultimate at the very end. Ah, what can you do, though? We tried our best. You win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? Keeping it interesting, I guess. Wish Torm, very strong spell in the right hands. I may not have been in the right hands. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. We are moving. Oh, we're falling back. We appear to be falling onto Ash Twin for some reason.